Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Abidiza Mankwe of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words sublime realizations. You know sometimes in life there are things you would you be engaged in them and then all of a sudden a thought hits you and then you begin to ask yourself, where am I? Sometimes you 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 you, 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 there's something that seems right that you pursue and that, you know, and then all of a sudden something hits you, then you say to yourself, my goodness, what am I doing? My God, where am I? What am I even doing here? Well, in Luke chapter 15, there's a powerful story of the prodigal son over there. And then the Bible says, you know, he went to a far country and burned his father's uh, wealth and frivolities and in, you know, uh, lascivious. Uh, living, you know, parties and all those other things because he had never really toiled for it and he wasted it. And the Bible said now that he, he ended up wasting everything that he became so poor that he began to, to look after pigs in order to survive. All he could do was just survive. And the Bible says he, he fain would have even consumed the food of the pigs, you know, that is sharing pigs' food with pig. My goodness. And in that particular place, in that instance where he was sitting in the valley of desolation and was, he was now at his end, that is it, that is it. Now the Bible then says something that was very powerful for me. So when he came to himself, that means something, the lights went on for him. That, that means there was like, there, there, was an, there was a hallelujah moment. You know, there, there, was a, there was a powerful moment where the lights went on. And the lights were switched on for him. And then he asked himself, my goodness, where am I? What am I doing even here? And for me, that was a very pregnant place. It was when he ended in the doldrums of, of poverty, when he ended in, in, in the valley of despair, when he, ended, when he ended up fishing with pigs and being a consult uh, to, to pigs. That was when it hit, it hit him. Where am I? You know, sometimes... You, you, would, you, would, you would do things and it is your choice. Yes, it is my body, it is my body, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you keep going, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. Until God forces you to come to a place of desperation. You come to a place where you are in the, walking in the valley of desolation, where everything goes away. And he even lost his friends, the prodigal son. He lost his friends, all the fair weather friends, of course. You get the fair weather friends, what do you expect them to do? When you had money, they congregated around you and they help you chop, 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 chop the money, you know. But then all of a sudden, in your moment of poverty, they just, they just went away. They helped you when you were fooling around. They helped you. They aided you. They praised you. They gave you from full respect. And they gave you, I mean, they, they, were, they were singing your praise. You didn't know that sometimes when you, you, when you give a fool a load, you have to... Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? You have to sing the fool's praise. You have to sing the fool's praise. Meanwhile, you've given the fool a burden, a heavy load to carry. This is what they did to him. And they left him. It was then when the lights came on for him. It was then when something just quickly made him say, where am I? Sublime realizations. Sometimes God would allow you to go until you hit that place. When you come to yourself. And then you ask yourself, what have I done? Well, sometimes on, when you're doing it, when people talk to you, you won't even listen. But a time is going to come where you would see for yourself and you will know that this is where I am. And then you're going to ask yourself, where am I? Oh, the prodigal son came to that moment. We, we, I mean, we charismatics call it the hallelujah moment. Oh, wow. And that was when he said, I don't need to be here. The reality of his pain, the reality of his, of his despondence and the reality of his despair and everything that is associated with it made him say, that, oh wow, I don't need to be here. I've got my father's house. Let me go back to my father. Talk to my father. It's okay. My father is a good man. You can avoid that place. 
But if not, when you come to that place, ask God to turn the lights on for you, for you to see, and for you to take remedial steps to correct the wrong that you got yourself engaged in. Sublime realizations. Wow. See you later.